हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल साइंस क्वेरी आई एम योर होस्ट डॉक्टर आशा ज्योति दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट रेनिन एंड व्हाई दिस एंजाइम इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर इन्फेंट्स रेनिन इज आल्सो कॉल्ड काइमोसिन इट इज अ डाइजेस्टिव एंजाइम व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट इन द इन्फेंट्स इट इज सीक्रेटेड बाय द स्टोमैक टू एड इन द डाइजेशन ऑफ मिल्क प्रोटीन It is most active in newborns and gradually decreases as the baby gets older and start to consume solid food. Now let us see why renin is important for the infants. Renin helps in cleaving the milk protein casein into calcium paracaseinate which is further digested by the pepsin enzyme into smaller peptides. This process also helps to form curd in the stomach which slows down the emptying of the stomach and allows for better absorption of nutrient now let us see how renin works and how it cleaves the milk protein proreddin is the precursor of renin and when this proreddin comes in contact with scl it's convert into active enzyme called renin now this renin combines with the casein of the milk and convert it into paracaseine this paracaseine further combine with calcium ion and forms calcium paracaseinate This calcium paracaseinate then break down into simpler form with the help of enzyme pepsin into protease, peptones, and polypeptides. Why adults do not have renin in their stomach? Grown-ups still have the gene for renin, but are no longer expressed, or we can say that the gene for the renin is inactive. As we grow older, our body starts to produce other enzymes such as pepsins. that are better suited for digest a wider variety of proteins found in adult diet while renin is not necessary component of adult digestion some individuals may still have small amount of enzyme present in their stomachs now let us explore the disorders that are related to renin first one is the milk protein intolerance infants who have difficulty in digesting milk protein may have a deficiency in renin or other digestive enzyme This can cause symptoms such as vomiting, diarrhea and colic pain. Next disorder is the gastric ulcer. Renin is involved in the production of stomach acid which can contribute to the development of gastric ulcers if produced in excessive amount or if the stomach lining is damaged. Another disorder is lactose intolerance although it is not directly related to renin. It is a condition that affects the digestion of lactose. a sugar found in the milk renin deficiency it is a rare case where individuals may have a genetic deficiency in renin that can lead to difficulty in digesting milk protein and other digestive issues however this condition is very rare and typically diagnosed early in the life now let us see the commercial uses of renin renin are used mainly for the production of cheese and other dairy products Renin is used to coagulate milk and separate it into curd. Then it is used to produce a variety of cheese like Swiss cheese, mozzarella cheese, etc. Renin can be used as a food additive to improve the texture and stability of certain products such as processed meat and sauces. Renin can also be used to produce other dairy product like yogurt, buttermilk. Renin is also used in the production of certain pharmaceuticals. such as insulin as well as in the development of therapeutic enzymes for medical uses well that is all about renin if you like my video please subscribe my channel food thesis thank you